Hi and welcome to another episode to our Talk to Data Experts with Microsoft. My name is Suma Manohar and I'm the Senior Specialist in Global Black Belt Team for Cloud Scale Analytics, uh, leading ASEAN and I specialize in uh, Microsoft Fabric. Today, I have two experts from Tiger Analytics with me, Sudarshan and Swapnil, and we shall be talking about all the new and fabulous experiences that they have had with working on Microsoft Fabric. Uh, Swapnil and Sudarshan, please go ahead and introduce yourselves. Over to you. Sure. Thanks, uh, Suma. So, my name is Sudarshan Srinivasan, and uh, uh, I'm a senior director with Tiger Analytics, uh, and I also lead the Microsoft uh, Fabric Center of Excellence in Tiger. Right, I come with a little over 21 plus years of industry experience. Uh, you know, having worked with several databases, data modeling, and data engineering experience. So, Swapnil, do you want to go next? Sure. Hi, my name is Swapnil Saxena. I am a senior architect with Tiger Analytics and I work closely with Sudarshan in Microsoft Fabric Center of Excellence. I come with 15 years of industry experience and I've handled several complex Azure data implementation uh, projects in the past. Uh, and thanks for having us and we are ex very excited to be here talking to Microsoft and sharing our experiences. Indeed, it's uh, great having you both here. Um, today we are talking about Microsoft Fabric. So can you please both share some details about um, how your journey with Microsoft Fabric has been so far? Sudarshan, maybe start with you. Sure, I think uh, great question, Suma. So, you know, Tiger Analytics um, has seen rapid growth in Azure Data Engineering in the past few years. Uh, and the demand continues to grow rapidly. Uh, we also have advanced level partnership with Microsoft uh, something that we are very proud of. All right. Microsoft has launched its Fabric SaaS platform uh, in the Ignite event that happened in November uh, last year. And soon after that, you know, we formed our center of excellence uh, team and started upskilling in a very accelerated and rapid manner. All right. Uh, and you know, our team not only explored all of the features, but very quickly and rapidly uh, they have built several, uh, you know, accelerators and several reusable frameworks. Um, and we have a go-to-market strategy as well, right? And not only that, uh, over a period of the last six months, we have been uh, very, very busy talking to several, uh, you know, customers and industry domain. Uh, we are trying to implement some of these use cases that we have. And we are also having these conversations with clients, understanding their requirements. Uh, so it has been a very, very exciting journey. Uh, today, not only do we have a lot of customers signing up for Fabric uh, for big engagements, uh, but we are also, you know, very uh, closely working with Microsoft on several private preview features, right? Uh, something that we are very, very excited about. Um, we are seeing a lot of customer adoption. Uh, Swapnil, do you want to add to this? Absolutely. We have been a ball partnering with Microsoft to build our go-to-market offerings, our lake house centric architectural frameworks and industry focused case study. We are also creating knowledge assets in the form of blogs, white papers, and POVs. And these focus on broader aspects of data integration, DevOps adoption, secure networking, performance analysis, pricing, and usage consumption in Fabric. All of these would help our customers in bridging their knowledge gaps and accelerate adoption to Fabric. So consequently, we are seeing uh, several customers beginning to plan their adoption or migration to Fabric and as Fabric continues to grow bigger in terms of its features and offerings, we'll see bigger implementation, therefore driving this era of AI and data analytics. Awesome. Thank you, Sudarshan and Swapnil. Seems like Fabric is the talk of the town and Tiger Analytics is acing it. Uh, thank you for sharing your Fabric journey with us. Based on your customer interactions, uh, please let us know what are some of the major categories of use cases for fabric implementation? Yeah, um, absolutely. Uh, I think we are seeing, uh, you know, few major patterns in terms of use cases from our customers, right? 
I think the the first category is of customers who are you know who have on-prem data sources and they have existing Synapse Analytics uh, enterprise data warehouse in their ecosystem and they work with a lot of uh, you know, ETL tools which are on-prem. It could be either SSIS, it could be other ETL tools. And they have requirements such as data quality, data warehousing, analytics. And they want to bring all of their uh, functionality which is running on on-prem. Uh, and with Synapse Analytics, they want to bring all of that into Fabric, right? That's the first bucket. The second bucket of customers, uh, you know, want to understand, you know, how Fabric works. You know, uh, they want to uh, take a realistic view of, you know, what are all the ease of working with Fabric. What are some of the fantastic features that it provides? Um, so they want to implement a quick uh, proof of concept uh, so that they are able to uh, visualize a use case end to end right from ingestion to data engineering to you know being in, able to implement data warehousing implement on top of that you know analytical use cases and then even reporting end to end so they want to do something quick uh, understand how fabric works uh, you know what are its features and its costing so that's the second bucket right and the third bucket is, is a set of clients who are having a lot of power bi uh, users and they want to expose their Power BI end users to the new capabilities that Fabric enables them, right? So, so they want to ensure that those Power BI customers are also able to play and dabble with data engineering and data science capabilities. Uh, Sopnil, do you have anything to add to that? Sure, sure. Uh, you have covered most of it, but broadly customers have often been plagued by the complexities that surround their current data landscape. They want to simplify their existing architecture and cut down time to market and bring self-service aspects to their platform. And so there's a huge push in terms of migrating from their existing landscape and bring in self-service Gen AI capabilities that only Microsoft Fabric can offer. Uh, they want to build their data lake houses or decentralized data mesh architectures. Some customers want to dabble with uh, real-time analytics and build some advanced data analytics and ML-driven use cases. Excellent. Um, so data mesh or what we call in Microsoft is responsible mesh, um, real-time analytics, and of course the Gen AI assistance in doing everything uh, to improve the developer productivity has been top of mind for many of our customers. And I also heard um, Sudarshan say, talk about POCs and uh, trials. So I'm sure most of our customers know that we do provide a 60 day free trial uh, for customers uh, to help them understand the fabric capabilities. Uh, so just just so that our viewers know that, I uh, just thought of adding that. Um, moving on, so for customers for whom you are already implementing solutions, uh, Sudarshan and Swapnil, what are some of their key asks in terms of features that they want to be enabled on fabric? Right. I think a great question again, right? So as Fabric continues to bring newer features uh, to general availability and public availability, right? So I believe the key ask from customers is more in terms of the overall ecosystem in terms of better maintainability, security and automation. These are very key features that the client wants to see implemented within Fabric. Uh, they want to be able to auto deploy their code and pipelines in Fabric with the ease and flexibility that Fabric has to offer, right? So we now that we know that Microsoft is continuously working on its published roadmap on key features in terms of DevOps integration, code and pipeline auto deployment, support and better security in terms of one one security for Fabric, right? So we understand that and we are working. In, sol uh, in, in solutioning and deploying the use cases for the, our clients, you know, they're eagerly waiting for some of these above mentioned fabric features to become available so that we continuously uh, work with Microsoft and work with the clients in implementing some of these use cases for them. So that's, that's some of the key asks, better maintainability, uh, overall automation and security. 
I I don't know whether I covered everything. Do you want to add more colors to it, Sapnil? Sure. Yeah. So with the low code, no code capabilities coming to the forefront in Fabric, customers often want to simplify their existing code base. And when they see rich interactive pipeline build features like data factory pipelines, uh, data flows, it's a key ask for them to make their code simple. easily maintainable and plus they want to see that robustness self service aspect uh, without having to worry so that they have uh, don't have to worry uh, too much about maintaining their infra or the the reliance on the it teams or small uh, data analysis tasks and fabric delivers on all these aspects right with a deep focus on saas capabilities self service etl and reporting Right. Yeah. I mean, it's always great to hear customer feedback, and um, as you know, we are working towards enabling every customer, every person on the planet to do more. Uh, so please keep an eye on the Fabric release notes, which is updated very regularly uh, for t- for what is upcoming feature, its availability, and its timelines. Um, now you mentioned about solution accelerators and reusable frameworks. what features of microsoft fabric have you used the most or uh, what are some of your favorite fabric features there there's so many great features in ms fabric and it's hard to pick just a few there's copilot of course you get to talk to your data generate code cool dashboards using gen ai capabilities uh, that's the top one uh, and then there's data wrangler that is another one interactively work with data generate cleansing rules on the fly in a visual no code low code manner and you have shortcuts shortcuts are a great way to bring external data inside fabric without having to write any code at all uh mirroring has become public preview now and this is a great feature to bring data into one lake from your existing azure sql snowflake databases without you having to write any integration code at all uh you have got visual queries uh, you don't have to know sql and you can do simple data analysis using drag and drop interface so it, it's a very exciting phase for all of us as we begin to reimagine the data and ai landscape with the advent of gen ai and machine learning and ms fabric coming forth promising unprecedented opportunities for innovation and transformation i think i couldn't agree more with uh, swapnil what he has said uh, you know uh from from what i see one of the great features that you know i see uh, in fabric is the fact that it is able to combine the powers of data engineering data science and data analytics in a seamless manner right so then it has further added the capabilities of open ai copilot the simplicity and the security of uh, of it all at the core of it i think this is like fantastic and you know this is one of the features that we are also showcasing to our clients and in in several of the microsoft events you know i, I you know sopnil has actually showcased this as demonstrations to our uh, our clients and customers so and we continuously do that and we continuously are wowing our customers so i think uh, fabric is going to be limitless in its possibilities and it's definitely going to be the future and you know on how everyone truly does amazing things in cloud computing thank you uh, sudarshan and sapnil for sharing these great perspectives um so going forward let's learn a bit more about your uh, go to market offering in fabric um sudarshan can you provide a high level overview of your gtm offerings for our customers and then we'll go with sapnil Sure, sure, absolutely. So, Sapnil is the you know architect, the champion architect that we have, right? So, while he will provide you more depth, yeah, you know, I can cover it at a very high level, right? So, first we have covered and implement most of the data ingestion capabilities, you know, which is supported by Fabric, be it shortcuts, mirroring, data factory pipelines, data flow gen two. We have covered it all, even stream. You name it, we have covered it. and not only have we implemented it we have also ensured that it is made reusable it is domain agnostic so that we can go to any client and we can implement it very quickly right so you know whatever the customer's problem is in terms of bringing in data so that is getting covered with our reusable frameworks for data ingestion right that's that's the first one 
second we have done the same for transformations as well right so after ingesting your data obviously uh, there is a requirement for implementing both data quality and data transformation and with fabric you can use so many engines right be it you know time series custo query databases and engines capability uh, whether it is lake houses whether it is data warehouses uh, you know we have ensured that we are utilizing the right engines within fabric for the right use cases right uh, and then the third one you know as a result of all of this we have several architectural bl blueprints as well uh, so each and every client have their own requirements so we are able to help and identify what are those architectural blueprints that we can actually implement for them. And then further, we have enriched all of them with our deep expertise uh, on implementing complex data engineering solutions. We come with a lot of experience on Azure uh, stack overall. So they, they include all of the reusable frameworks on data quality, transformations, monitoring, alerting, DevOps, et cetera. Yep, yep, and absolutely. Let me let me add to that. We have tried to put use every important fabric feature and experience that is publicly available. Our focus is to use native fabric capabilities and rely less on external Azure or other OSS tools technologies. Uh, we ensure that there are uh, we are co constantly adding more to our go-to-market solution. We are keeping up pace with the fabric features and thereby we are ahead in terms of what can be implemented for our clients in the near future. Great. Uh, thank you, Swapnil and Sudarshan for sharing your experiences on Microsoft Fabric and also your GTM strategy uh, for our customers. Um, in summary, customers in this region, specifically in ASEAN, are taking to Fabric very quickly, um, mainly due to the SASIFIED nature of the product itself. Um, its support implementation of responsible mesh, uh, its inbuilt governance, and also its agile interoperability with multi cloud environment. Specifically in this region, because there are so many conglomerates uh, operating here, and this um, suits the, the conglomerates a lot. Customers are also seeing Microsoft Fabric as the unifying platform for all their analytical needs. Uh, that is an emerging pattern that I have observed uh, working within this region of customers. And lastly, um, Microsoft values its partnership with Tiger Analytics and we recognize the crucial role that uh, Tiger Analytics plays in driving innovation adoption of Microsoft technologies. Um, and in summary, I would say Microsoft uses its collaboration with partner, uh, our partner Tiger Analytics as essential for driving adoption of Azure services, helping customers achieve their data goals and fostering innovation in the data analytics space. So partnerships enable a win-win scenario where both Microsoft and Tiger Analytics contribute to the success of our customers jointly. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Great to you. be working with Microsoft. Uh, thank you for having us today.